Hi everyone. Um, now we are going to create our first in-app guidance. Uh, this is a new feature from Salesforce. Uh, first of all, we will go to setup. Search setup for in-app. Yeah. Perfect. Um, we can start by creating the new one by clicking it. Simple and easy steps. We can zoom out a little bit so that we can see the whole screen. Now, if we would like to add in app guidance in my first account, for example, okay, I can click add. I can say okay, walk through. Next, it can be floating a prompt or dog the prompt or target. The targeted prompt. I prefer targeted prompt. Um, then in prompt position, so if you can see here, this, this is the step one in my walkthrough steps. It seems like I can create multiple steps. So after creating this step, I will add a new step. Let's start with this. I, in order to tell Salesforce which position should the message be displayed, I can click targeted mode. And now, whenever I hover over any component, any area here, it give me um, like a blue shadow here. I can click. So I clicked here. Um, I have the option to customize the theme color, but let's keep it as it is for now. The title, I can say activity component. And say this component allows you to track your activities like um, new tasks, log a call, or send an email. Okay. We can say also um, the activity timeline will show you quick glance of your history, activity history, and the upcoming. Okay, so this is your message. You can upload a photo also, and the, the photo or image um, should be in this extension, GBG or whatever, and shouldn't exceed five, five megabyte. Um, and you can customize the dismiss button label. So this label, we can call it whatever we want. Let's call it cancel for now, instead of dismiss. I can click save. Um, so, action label, let's keep it blank, no problem. And schedule should start at October 20th and finish at the end of the month, for example. Frequency, show when the page load. So, every time the user refresh the page or open the account detail page, it will be displayed. Days between, let's say one, let's say times show five times and for five days. Okay. Profile no restriction. You can select which profile should be uh, allowed to see this uh, guidance. Also, permissions. Let's keep it. Oh, permissions. So let's say you have 10 new users, Salesforce users in your organization. You can assign one permission to this. Uh, 10 new users and only these new users will see your in-app guidance if you, if you are creating a guidance for basic tasks you can assign for a specific uh, permission set but for now for demonstration let's keep it no permission restriction and the detail i can it i can call it um account in app guidance okay 
So we can add one extra step. Let's say now this is step one, activity component, one step more. And it should be targeted prompt also. And targeting mode, we can target this area. And let's keep the theme color as it is. We can say the highlight. Uh, okay. Um, here you can see a quick information about your record. Your admin can also your admin can customize this area to match your needs. Okay. Let's say also this message cancel and save. So we have two steps here. And that's enough for now. Let's say done. Let's say Okay, I think we are okay. In order to test, so if we refresh the in-app guidance now, we will see that there is one guidance called account in-app and it's active. Can we try? I think if we refresh now, account, sample account, mm, do you see? So now, whenever the user open the, open the account detail page, a pop up uh, prompt will be displayed with the text we created. Okay, uh, the user has the option to snooze this uh, prompt. If I click cancel, it will show me the highlight panel uh, step. So it's a step one of one and two of two. So whenever you create a new functionality or a new customization to your page, you can always um, keep your users up to date by using the any app guidance. I think this is a great functionality and will save you a lot of time explaining a new functionality to your users. You know, sometimes users during training sessions are not focused or are not concentrating and they are distracted. So this is a good opportunity to learn them and to educate them how to uh, navigate pages and how to get most of Salesforce or any new functionality you created or added to your page. Okay, let's say you would like to edit this page. Okay, let's say I will edit the account detail page to be the related list of accounts to be displayed as quick links here in this area. Okay, there are a lot of problems. Okay, now I will go related list quick links and I will put it here. Okay, and I will remove the related list from this component. You can remove this like this. Okay. Let's save and assign as organization default. Save. That's great. I would like to inform my users about the new changes so that they get used to found related here and now it is displayed here. We can go to in app guidance. I can edit this one or create a new one. Let's create a new one. Let's say now you are in the in-app guidance builder. You can go to any record and click it. Okay. It will be uh, a single prompt. It will be targeted. Target mode. And I can highlight this co new component. Quick links. And I can say new uh, let's say quick links for your related records okay now the related records 
are available in the in this component instead of displaying it in the left and side area and um, it will allow you to keep the page more organized and allow you to access related records quickly okay i think this is enough um should we try to upload the media let's try say this one for example okay <laughs> you see um this is just a demonstration okay and also the dismiss will be cancelled resolve any errors complete this field of oh. sample image All right. okay next and it will end at the end of the month it will be uh, times to show let's say 10 times and one day before between them no profile restriction name new component for account deleted list let's say quick links quick links for account creators okay save um that's it done if you went now to any account <laughs> you see quick link is for your related record now so it highlighted this area and now the related records are available in this component and still splitting it in the left hand side area. I think this is straightforward um, builder and this is a great functionality for admins. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please subscribe uh, to see more. Thank you so much.